Welcome back. Glad you're with us in Dollars and Deals. Record stores are jammed all over the country as the holidays mean record, record sales. We have the huge sound scan numbers as DMX says, and then there was X, sold almost 700,000 records in just one week. Celine Dion, all the way, a decade of song, sold 640,000 records. And in third, the Backstreet Boys, Millennium, sold 562,000 records. Remember, all these records sold in just one week. Now, we have the Network Evening News yearly ratings, and the bragging rights belong to NBC's Nightly News with Tom Brokaw, with 10.25 million viewers a night. In second, ABC's World News Tonight with Peter Jennings, with 10.18 million viewers. And in third, the CBS Evening News with Dan Rather, with 8.86 million viewers. And that's the way it is. My colleague, Walter Cronkite there. Well, Matt Damon scores high ratings from the critics in his $20 million plus hit film, The Talented Mr. Ripley. But it's his oh-so-sexy British co-star that will knock your socks off. His name is Jude Law, and while he perfects an American accent as Dickie Greenleaf, he perfected his body to play this role to the bone. Our lucky Nancy O'Dell sat down with the talented Mr. Law. Oh, yeah. You're not at my place by 7 o'clock. Tom and I are running off together. Okay, fine. Oh, you know Matt, you know Gwyneth, then you are about to know Jude Law. People are calling you today's Cary Grant. What a nice compliment. God, yeah, what a compliment. Well, I hope, yeah, wow. I don't talk like Cary Grant, though. Considering he's English, no, he doesn't. But the one-time high school dropout is getting a lot of attention going side-by-side. Side. Hollywood's own heartthrob, Matt Damon. Everybody should have one talent. What's yours? We reported that Matt had to drop 20 pounds to play the talented Mr. Ripley, but Jude had to do just the opposite. I hate going to the gym, but for this, I kind of, I wanted to build up. Because, you know, skinny English people don't get away with being hunks, do you know what I mean? And I was like... So I was eating loads of food and squeezing as much kind of muscle into my puny body as I could. And he was meanwhile running on the, on the running machine, trying to sweat all his Americana off. It worked. Both men just received a Golden Globe nomination. Critics are calling this Jude's breakout role. Are you ready to go into that superstar stratosphere where everybody's going <laughs> to know the name, know the face? Uh, I... Yeah, I guess. I mean, I'm, one of the, I'm, I'm someone who deals with things when they happen. It's like I never expect anything of anything, really, because then you're disappointed. Well, Jude did get some first-hand lessons on the set. According to co-star Kate Blanchett, Matt stirred up quite the fan frenzy during filming. A lot of the times it was like doing street theatre, because, you know, there'd be, the, there'd be us, the actors being surrounded by the crew, and then there'd be like a thousand screaming, sweaty girls all trying to get at him. Well, Matt Damon is on to his next movie, The Legend of Bagger Vance, co-starring Will Smith. And Jude has signed on to his next role also. He'll star with Shakespeare and love actor Joseph Fiennes in Enemy at the Gates. By the way, today is Jude's birthday, so happy 27th. Pat. Indeed. Now, coming up next, our moment with David Letterman.